Strabismus and amblyopia are terms that we often hear in pediatric ophthalmology, and uh, it's a common problem uh, in children. In fact, strabismus or amblyopia will occur in almost two to three percent of the general population. Strabismus means misalignment of the eyes. Normally our eyes are unfocused on a target. If an eye turns in or turns out or even goes up, that's strabismus, misalignment. Amblyopia means that the visual development didn't occur properly because usually of a blurred image. Sometimes when eye turns in all the time, that also can decrease the brain development from that eye and vision can be low. So amblyopia is poor vision because the brain didn't develop that high resolution because it didn't receive proper input. Both strabismus and amblyopia should be treated early. The earlier you treat, the better the chances that you're gonna get a good result. The better the chances you're gonna stimulate brain development. What I hate to see is a child in my practice who's had crossed eyes for one or two years. That long-standing crossing, the brain now has been stimulated abnormally, and in many cases, I can't get it back. I can't make them use their eyes together anymore because they're so one-eye dominant. Now, you may hear about patching. You never have a child have a patch, eye patch? We patch the dominant eye to make the, quote, lazy eye or their amblyopic eye, their eye that doesn't see well, be stimulated. So children with strabismus, if they really have strong dominance for one eye, we patch the dominant eye to stimulate the brain that's connected to the non-dominant eye. If this child has equal dominance, we don't need to patch them, even though they have strabismus. So you may have a child that you know a child or your child may be patching. You're patching to switch the dominance because you've got one eye that's taken over.